You can stop it, I believe, on this green. It's the softest green on the course. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to watch, Karen, because she missed her last tee shot right. Now this tee shot left. It's not the kind of golf course where you can be spraying your tee shots and expect to stay close to the leader, top of the leader. I know it's almost a little unfortunate that she will not get a full rookie season because you think that she would certainly contend for rookie of the year. I think it's probably a little out of reach with only a handful of events left. Yeah, which from here, so I think she's going to be a full out good swing here and she should be able to generate a bit more swing with that speed, but that got a good gust downwind. And now you've got to be careful because this is the... Here it goes. Yeah, that's the slope that Paula Rito is on. I wonder if this will gather maybe a little further to the right, so maybe another one's looming. Here's the past champion, Hannah Green for birdie at 11. Well, she would have learned from what Starks Park did, but even when you've had a kind of a sneak peek, it's still difficult to get the ball back there. And has been going to an Australian cafe in the mornings uh, to make herself feel like she's back home, and she will be back home next week, which she's very much looking forward to. Back to the tee at 12th and Hannah Green. Well, wind, there's a little bit of help in this, but I think, you know, for the players to have a chance of going for this green in two, I think they need a lot of help here. There's only a few players I think that could get here, Morgan. To 12 in the second for Hannah Green. Well, and this one is on the way out to the right. There's a huge clump of those big trees out there. Oh, she got a really fortunate kick, Karen. That was just the kick you wanted, wasn't it? It's got 101. And it was a nice lie, quite a dry lie in the rough. Flag though, all the way at the back of the green. Sensible play though, just allowing for it to bounce back there. And yeah, just gonna funnel to the lower part of the slope. At the 12th hand of green for birdie. Putting from that lower level, up that subtle slope, but Day. Time for the lead. 13. Hannah Green's tee shot. There's a little bit of breeze, Tom, right now into these players, and this is a direct line. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoys this golf course. Just a short one here for Hannah Green. Yeah, okay. So Hannah Green takes the lead on her own. On the tee at that 14th, now leading by one, Hannah Green. Well, it's one of those tee shots that you can get nervous on. There's lots of trouble right and left, but this one's going to be just fine. Yeah, it's just so obvious watching her play around this golf course, how comfortable she is. Has 115 yards, a little bit into the wind. Just like a little distance control here. Yeah, looks like a little bit of a tug. Look down, back down at it. Well, maybe a touch above her feet. And a green to add to her lead at 14. Well, this one is so speedy down the hill. The, the way she's putting these greens. And a green's tee shot. Yeah, just clubbing back just to put it down there into a spot. Doesn't look happy with it. No, it's a little too far right. Gonna be blocked I mean, out? It might be. I'll have to wait and see when I get down there. <laughs> Good. We've got a great look at it now from behind yep I mean, she knew it she knew it was going to be close oh what good. a shot karen <laughs> oh my goodness from nearly blocked out beautiful little fade hug the tree line hannah green for birdie well there's no margin for error on this course tom oh that was just one of those subtle breaks, Karen. Yep. For Hannah in general, you know, where she's positioned on this leaderboard, she is as about as cool, calm and collected a competitor as there is out here on tour. Nothing's going to fluster her. And the winner, Ashley Buhai. Hannah Green at 16. Now, Green is comfortable hitting a little fade. And this looks pretty good if it's the right distance. She gets caught up a little bit on that slight false front. Well, and it's going to break right off the bunker and then it's going to accelerate down towards the hole because the whole of this green slopes towards the back at the halfway stage. Well then she would have been paying attention to this as it went past the hole. Yep. 
No, I think she's worried about running through into the bunker that is the, the through line because you don't want to mess with this ride. And that's fine too. Good shape. Now Hannah Green, similar line to Fudaway. It is. She only ain't about four feet left for hers. Definitely was helped by watching Fudaway's pub. 17. Hannah Green for par. Still need to think about this one. Oh, wow, that moved. And that fooled Hannah, so that is kind of a drop shot out of nowhere for Hannah Green. And you know, obviously, cool, calm and collected, but frustrated at that miss at the previous hole. No LPGA wins since those two so close together, including right here in Portland in 2019, but so many close calls. She also won a seven-figure paycheck for winning the A-Hunter's Award.